Hello, I'm Evan Hammonds for bloodhorse.com and welcome to After the Wire. Even though the Saratoga meeting is too long and offers way too many races and programs that are uh, unbecoming of what the spa once was, it's always sad to see the curtain drop with the Labor Day weekend. And the highlight wasn't one of the four grade one races that were offered at the spa over the weekend. Two-time Horse of the Year Wise Dan made his return from colic surgery Saturday in the Bernard Baruch. And if you thought the seven-year-old was vulnerable off the layoff, you weren't alone. However, he showed the true heart of a champion while fending off Optimizer in the lane, the mile and 16th race, getting great position early under Johnny V. He tracked a strong pace with three successive quarters that were running under 24 seconds. Got a mile in 133 and one, and then he threw down a five and four fifths seconds final 16th of a mile to get the nose decision. Obviously, deadly at a mile, he handled the additional 110 yards and handed us one gritty performance. This effort and his last before surgery in the Woodford Reserve Turf Classic, in which he held off Seek again, have been his most impressive. Later in the day at Saratoga, it's my lucky day, dueled with Marino the length of the stretch before edging ahead by a half length, the wire of the Woodward Stakes. In top form all summer, it's my lucky day, turned the tables on his front running rival. The top three finishers here in the Woodward, it's my lucky day, Marino and Prayer for Relief, all came out of the August 2nd Whitney, which, offers a, which offered up a much deeper field. Perhaps that's why the Whitney is a seven-figure race and the Woodward is worth a mere $600,000. Now, I may be old school, and I understand the uh, reasoning behind running the race at Saratoga, but I preferred the Woodward back in the day when it was run at Belmont Park. And to wrap things up, we'd like to thank Tom Durkin for the memories. We've enjoyed his clear, concise, and entertaining calls for more years than we care to remember. He will also be a major part of the history of the sport as the voice of the Breeders' Cup and all the major races at the New York Racing Association, which we'll watch from years to come. Now, everybody has a favorite, and my most memorable calls include Ali Sheba's win in the dark at Churchill Downs in 1988, and the following year's Breeders' Cup Classic call with Sunday Silence and Easy Goer at Gulfstream Park. Thanks a lot, Tom. And for some great insight into Tom Durkin's Go ahead and watch his last call that you can find on bloodhorse.com. Also come back to bloodhorse.com to watch other editions of After the Wire.